Hello. Yes, I think I did. Am I still sounding like a Cyberman? Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with it before, but, uh... Uh, so... Paul thinks it was YouTube hamstringing me. So, I was, um... I was uploading videos that day, and apparently it takes, like, two hours to process to HD, and I think that's what was going on, so... Annoying, but now I know not to upload videos on the day of stream. Yep. So how are all you lovely people? I sound like a cute lady. I don't know what you're on, but thank you, I guess. Woke up from a post-blood donation nap. How are the vampires doing? They doing okay? Oh, nice! Uh, that reminds me. So, we moved... We moved my husband's um, computer desk down from the main floor in the living room down to the basement. So he's kind of got like his own husband cave going on down there. And that's where he and Kiddo are right now. But, um, yeah. So, um, there's a lot more room in my living room than I remember there being. <laughs> but, uh, it's funny because the basement used to be the cat's domain, like primarily, and now the cat's like, what, what is going on? But yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just hoping that I don't get as overwhelmed with this game as I did last week, because blah. The, um, the amount of stuff that they throw threw at me last time was just ridiculous and a lot of other things were going wrong so my brain just went completely TV static. So I did add a couple of new um, viewer rewards. I started a new community challenge um, and as a reminder, like I said last Saturday, um, I think I've set, set it up where the, um, the crafting stream Ali, can you teach Ali, me a sign? Can you show me one of your elephants? One at a time. Pretty, please. Um, so, like I said, uh, what was I talking about? Bloody hell. <laughs> Oh, crafting streams. Uh, crafting streams will be held the first Saturday of every single month um, if I have them running. So, for an example, the one that we finished recently, which is Piglet, uh, that is going to be on February 4th. And um, then if we meet this next challenge, uh, it will be held whenever the next um, first Saturday is. So, let's see, uh, Tiz, you wanted to learn a sign, so let's see. So, this one is Mommy. So that sign is this, and you tap your thumb to your chin a couple of times. So this is mommy. And conversely, daddy is up here. 
<laughs> well, that's because it's backwards. Anyways. Mommy. Daddy. And I've already started signing with kiddo a little bit. Uh, so you wanted an elephant. Uh, what is the over-under on that? Is that the explain an elephant? Yes, so an elephant's backstory. Um, Vicky, have you heard the story about how I got Grandpa Biggs? Because Grandpa Biggs is a big... Okay, so Grandpa Biggs... Oh, hold on, one second. This is Grandpa Biggs. He is big. And uh, I got him when I was uh, at the old apartment. And uh, literally, you can prop up a baby with this. And uh, apparently, he originally was supposed to come with his own blanket. And uh, uh, my husband did not get the blanket, but this was my Christmas gift one year. I think it was 2019 that this was my gift, but uh, Grandpa Biggs is a big boy. I love him very much, but literally while I was pregnant with kiddo, I would um, use him as a big old hello and uh, take naps in my office. And uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but, um, cause it was very hard to get up off of the floor being pregnant and round and uh, not very wieldy. But it is now time for us to start a video game. So give me a second and I will get us on over. All right. Nancy Drew, where'd you go? Yeah, this is the one where I have to do the window capture, isn't it? And I realized that it is no longer immature. It's supposed to be E for everyone. There we go. Okay, come on, window capture. Capture is a game. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. All right, load and save game. And I'm also going to move the chat over here so I can actually see you without trying to look through my uh, my microphone because apparently my microphone blocks a lot more than I realized. Alright. Load. Okay. So we have something... we have people to call? No. That's not what I want. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Great. Uh, directory. We need to call Bess. Oh! Hello? Hey, Bess. I'll do that after we Are finish we this conversation. And intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? 
Um, I'm not sure about how to go about building an outdoor camping fire. Cooking fire like Shorty asked me to. Any hints? Any hints as how to tell ripe vegetables from unripe ones? And that's it for now. How do I build a fire? I already know how to build a fire. Um, but anyways, uh, streamer facts. Let's see. Um, mm, here's a good one. I am technically trilingual because I know English, I know German, and I know ASL. I would not say I am fluent in two of those, and um, but I am definitely working on it. I am passable in German, and I am very... Uh, I, I don't have much comprehension in ASL, but I can pick up bits and pieces here. Uh, I'm not sure how to go about building an outdoor cooking fire like Shorty asked me to. Any hints? Three words. Tinder, kindling, and fuel. Tinder is anything that burns real easily, like really dry grass or newspaper. So put that down first, then surround it with kindling. You know, sticks, pine cones, scrap wood. But don't just dump it on. Make a teepee out of it so air can circulate easily. Then add the fuel. You know, the big stuff. But it can't be too big. You might have to split some logs to get fuel that's the right size. And don't forget to keep a bucket full of water nearby. Ampet is a real stickler for safety. Okay, so I need, I've found the kindle or I found the tinder, I need to find the kindling. So I need to find sticks or pine cones, um, and I need to get a bucket of water. I think I already got the bucket of water. Right, Any vegetables. hint as to how to tell ripe vegetables from unripe ones? Yikes, don't ask me. I can barely tell a vegetable from a fruit. Why don't you use your cell phone and go online? Maybe you can find the information you need on the web. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. <laughs> um, let's talk to the Hardy Boys. Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Um, any hints? For ripe vegetables? Any hint as to how to tell ripe vegetables from unripe ones? Don't look at me. My thumb's not exactly green. If I were you, I'd get on the phone and hit the web. Okay, so both are saying hit the web. I'm not sure how to go about building an outdoor cooking fire like Shorty asked me to. Any hints? Three words. Tinder, kindling, and fuel. In that order. Tinder is anything that burns real easily. Kindling is small type wood. And fuel is big type wood. But it can't be too big. To build this fire, you might have to split. And to make sure no one winds up kicking the bucket, don't forget to fill one. <laughs> Catch right. you later. See ya, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. Uh, what about the Rollies? Check in on them. The patient in the room you have dialed is not answering. Not available. Please call back later. Okay. And we can call the sheriff. All right. Since when have we been able to do that? Hernandez. Hi, are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah. How's that doing? You heard what happened to him? You heard what happened to him? Of course. I'm the sheriff. I hear everything. You gonna pull through? It looks that way, yes. They're going to keep him in the hospital for a day or two just to be sure. Good. That's good. Only met him a couple of times, but I liked him. He and his wife, what's her name? Bet. Short for Elizabeth. They seem real determined to make a go of that place. I like that. So, what can I do for you? Uh, did you hear about the Phantom Horse? Thanks for your help. Just doing my oh, job. Oh, that... But... Oops. I meant to ask you about that phantom horse. Sorry to mess with you more than once. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew. Hi, what's going on? Did you hear about the phantom horse that showed up at Shadow Ranch last night? Did you say phantom horse? Just before Ed was bitten by that snake, this glowing horse came galloping up outside, then went galloping away. Glowing horse? 
Sounds to me like somebody's playing a joke. Friend of Shorty's, I'll bet, trying to get a rise out of him and probably succeeding knowing Shorty. You know most of the men? Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of them. All right, cool. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Hmm. Um, veg vegetables. All right. Um, so bell peppers start out green and turn another color as they mature. So red, yellow. Okay. Beans on the left are uh, underripe, middle are ripe, and that's overripe. Tomatoes are red when ripe or bicolored. Golden white, orange yellow. That is a lot of information. the vegetable basket that's probably either in the kitchen or Wait. Um, no that's not what I want to do It looks like a bucket. Pick those vegetables for me yet? Not yet. I need those vegetables, Nancy. Okay, well, where's the... Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um... Doesn't look like any... Baskets there. Maybe it's over here. Okay, there's so there's beefsteak, golden cream, black turtle. Romano, oh. a library egg, northern lights. Oh, sticks. Um, I need to take those to um, where's my inventory? So I need to use so these. far so good. I need to use I need more kindling. Really? Okay, so I don't have enough kindling yet.
You are good at that. Oh, there's sticks. Is that gonna be enough? Nope, wrong button. So far, so good. I need more kindling. Oh my god. That is plenty of kindling. more stick. Ah, there we go. I bet you three is fine. Please let that be enough. So far, so good. I need more kindling. Are you kidding me? Bucket? Do we have a bucket? Mm. We do not have water in the bucket yet. checked for wood or for sticks I need something to put the fire out going in there without a horse to ride. Okay. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? We haven't talked to him in a while. How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little ornery. He does his job and he does it good. Far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. 
I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I guess we can't talk about Shorty. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? So there's obviously one more bundle of sticks. There it is. Please let that be enough. So far, so good. I need more kindling. Oh, for criminy's sake. Dick. Where is more? Like, seriously. They have it in the fireplace or no? No sticks in here. And I know there's no sticks in the dresser. That door's broken. I'm like, went through my heart. To bet, Charlena. could use a hint if anyone would be interested in finding a hint. <laughs> Sneaky. Sneaky. So far, so good. That should do it. Thank God. There, one extremely well-built campfire, if I do say so myself. Great looking fire, Nancy. Nice job.
there, you gonna tell me where the vegetable thing is? Pick those vegetables for me yet? Well... I need those vegetables, Nancy. It would help if you let me know where the doggone basket was. Yeah, I could use a hint where the vegetable basket is because I am at a loss. I have not seen one anywhere. Outside the door. Oh! I thought it was a decoration! <laughs> Thank you. That did not look like a basket whatsoever. Okay, so we've got Romano, we've got Old Ivory Egg and Northern Lights. And let's pull up the old um, internet browser. So, let's see. Romano. Like green. All right. And then old ivory egg. Or golden light. One right. Northern lights. So we can take those, 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 and those. Northern Lights. Are those the bicolored ones? Bicolored, yep. So these. Beef steak are red, I believe. Steak are red, one white, uh, golden queen are orange yellow, and what was the other black turtle? Yeah, beefsteak or tomatoes. Well, it's a variety. Because it's a very firm, kind of almost meaty um, type of tomato. It's very delicious. Um, so, if I 
<laughs> Two combinations of words that I could not describe vegetables less. Let's just leave it at they're more of a firm texture, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Um, black turtle. Okay, so dry beans are raised for their seeds. And the picture above, the pot on the left is underripe. The pot in the middle is ready. So we're looking for... The beans. Okay. So we're looking for these. I don't know. Which I do not see any. And I think that's all I can really take. Yeah, there's supposed to be an ice storm going on. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Okay, okay. Pick those vegetables for me yet? Take a look. Oh no, you got stuff in here that isn't wrapped yet. Picking stuff before it's wrapped is a waste of perfectly good food. So don't do it what again, did I pick you hear? Was... Now, the right. second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. Okay. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Alright, so I gotta get eggs now. Yeah, thank goodness. Quality chicken content. I know, right? Oh no! Oh! There's a hole in it. Jeez. Right click pe- Oh no! I'm thinking that's how that's supposed to go. Mm, that doesn't look right.
Something seems wrong here. Oh, it's because it is wrong. I think I messed something up. I did. I think that looks right. That's upside down. That. Okay, so that's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's not right. That's right. That's right. No, that's not right. There. Am I good or what? There we go. I'm not quite done yet. Uh. There we go. more eggs. Oh. Ow! 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 Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. Okay. Take that. That's enough eggs. You can find more eggs than that. I can. <laughs> okay, I guess I will. How many eggs you want, Shorty? Aha! Aha! Maybe I keep going until there's no- uh, it tells me? 
I guess. Yeah, I just keep on doing the rounds, I guess. Check in with everyone. Oops. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number. Directory. There we go. Hello? Me again. What's the status of your plane? Nobody will tell us a thing. And now a bunch of really dark clouds are rolling in. What's Rout going row. on with you, Nan? Uh, can I say anything? No. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Mm -hmm. Red. We're sorry. Your call can I keep dialing without, you know, dialing. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Catch you later. Stay safe. Watch out for varmints. Okay. Uh... What are the Raleigh's doing? The patient in the room okay. you have dialed is not answering. Please call back later. Can't call them. So there's not much I can actually... We'll take them now. Oh yeah, that, that looks fine. Let's go see if that is fine. Got those eggs for me? No problem. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. All right, so we got to go check in with Tex again and see what else I needed. Uh, no, no. Need something? May I go writing now? Yep, if you got everything I told you you need. And you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses. Old Bob's all yours. All right, cool. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. So... What do I... I That's that. done. I did that. Check. I did that. I'm finished with that. And I did I'm that. finished with that. I'm finished with that. So I need Bob's tackle. Um. Nope, nope. Come on, Bob. <laughs> I better try that again. Uh, no. Oh. 
Right, I need to tighten the strap. Oh no, that's fine. Come on, Bob! Try that again! <laughs> I'm ready! Ready for some questions? I think so. Where's the horse's hocks? Uh, just above, before, above its Just hooves? above its hooves. Nope. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's frog? Uh, bottom of its foot. On the bottom of its hoof. That's one out of ten. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? Uh, five feet? Five feet. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? Uh, paint? A paint horse. Nope. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? Uh... It whinnies all the time. Nope. Ask okay. me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Well, a bay and a chestnut are both light brown, but different ones. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut has black points. Nope. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? Uh, Appaloosas. The Sioux. Nope. I think it's time for a break. I think I'll and it's take a, a break. time for us to take a break too. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yes. And uh go on over to each of this game I can do. I'm ready. Ready to try again? I think so. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Um. Founders, it's, it's feet. feet. Three down, seven to go. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? Uh, cinch. The cinch. That's four right. Ask me something else. What is a mule? Uh, offspring of a male horse and a donkey. The offspring of a male horse and a female donkey. Nope. What? Ask me something else. Where's a horse's hocks? Uh, just above just its Just below its knees. Nope. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A quarter horse? A quarter horse. Nope. Okay. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? Uh, it's burping? It keeps burping. Nope. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. A bay has black points. That's five. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? Nez Pierce. The Nez Pierce. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. What is a mule? Female horse and a male donkey? The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Seven down. You're in the home stretch. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? Just above its hooves. Nope. Okay. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? On its back legs. Eight right. Just two to go. Okay. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? I can lie, I'm kind of brute forcing this right now. A draft horse. Nope. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? 
gated horse. A gated horse. This here's your final question. I'm ready. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? It keeps lying down, then standing up. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Okay, Bob, what do you say we do some sightseeing? Alright, so we're at Mary's Gifts now. Glyphs of the Southwest. Cool. rocks and petrified woods. Oh. Hi, can I help you? Um, are you Mary Yazzie? Hi, are you Mary Yazi? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? Bob brought me. He's a horse. My name's Nancy. So where are you staying? With Ed and Elizabeth Raleigh. In fact, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. I understand that you bought a trunk full of junk from the Raleigh's recently. Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Have you asked the Raleigh's about it? Have you asked the Raleigh's about it? They were no help, although they did offer to buy it back from me. I just told them to keep looking for a way to get it open. Are there many petroglyphs around here? Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. <laughs> Uh, it was great talking to you. It was great talking to you. Come in again. Hmm. That trunk looks really old. Would you mind if I tried to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. <laughs> I bet you I have the right things. So those are definitely the keys to get in, but... Me 
Maybe I need to learn more about the history of this trunk. Okay. Let's call the rallies. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. I can hear that. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bess and George's aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed, too. Got that? All right. Good. Now, what was the question? How is Mr. Ro I mean, Uncle Ed doing? Well, he's running a slight fever, so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to keep him here overnight, just to make sure he isn't developing some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about us. How are you doing? I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazi like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. Is that the first time she's tried to buy it from you? She's been after us to sell it to her practically since the day we arrived. That was her first formal offer. I guess she thought if she put it in writing, we'd accept. Why does she want it so bad? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. I heard about the phantom horse. Was last night the first time it showed up? As far as I know, it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really wasn't paying much attention. Do you have any idea where the horse came from? None whatsoever. She wants to know where that phantom horse came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. Why do you have a painting of Francis Humber? I just thought it would give the den some character, that's all. I found it in the tack room under a pile of junk. So the former owners left behind a lot of stuff? I swear, it's like no one who lived at Shadow Ranch ever bothered to take their things with them when they left. When we moved in, the place was literally full of junk. What did you do with it? I sold most of it to Mary Yazzie. She gets a lot of antique collectors in her store. Some things I kept, like Francis's favorite recipes. And that ridiculous blanket chest. You insisted on keeping that. Oh, yes. And I kept that triangular-shaped chest in the den. It used to belong to Merrill Humber. He was Francis's father. And I figured since I was keeping that picture of Francis, it was only fair that I keep something of his. What kind of logic is that? Oh, hush. It doesn't look like Bess and George are going to get here today. That's too bad. Why not? Their plane had to land in Omaha because of mechanical problems. They don't know when they'll be taking off. So, you'll have all those cowboys to yourself for a while. That Dave is pretty cute. He seems a little standoffish. Oh, he's just a little bashful. He'll warm up to you. He's quite a handyman. Very trustworthy. I'll be in touch. All right, dear. Bye now. Hmm, okay. Let's check in with the others, I guess. Oh, blast. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Hello? Me again. What's the status of your plane? Nobody will tell us a thing. And now a bunch of really dark clouds are rolling in. What's going on with you, Nan? I finally went for a trail ride. You went horseback riding? I rode to this store that this woman named Mary Yazzie owns. She seems to have a bit of an attitude problem when it comes to the Raleigh's. Apparently, she wants to buy some land from the Raleigh's that they don't want to sell. What's on the property? According to the Raleigh's, nothing but rocks. They just don't feel like selling it to her or to anyone else. She may have an ulterior motive. And where there's an ulterior motive, there's almost always a suspect. 
I'd love to see what's inside this old trunk at Mary's, but I need a hint when it comes to opening it. Those three holes must be some kind of lock. Maybe you need to find three square bottom keys. Figuring out which direction to turn each of them could be tricky, though. Maybe that romantic hearts and doves design has something to do with it. Let's see. Who could you call that would know something about things that are old and things that are romantic? That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. Bye, Hannah. Hardy residence. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? I'd love to see what's inside this old trunk at Mary's, but I need a hint when it comes to opening it. The key to this is probably pretty square. Which way do you turn the key? That's the question. I'll bet that hearts and doves and initial stuff that's carved in the trunk is the real key. You've got a trunk that probably dates back to the Old West, and a carving that suggests romance. Sometimes the only way to book some answers is to call an expert. Catch you later. Stay safe. Watch out for varmints. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew. Hi, what's going on? Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Hello? Hi, Aunt Bet. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. I can hear Bet. I'll be in touch. We'll be right here. Bye. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Ride safely. No, I just need to take a second to check her diaper, so I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. So I think I'm gonna go talk to Shorty and see what he thinks. So there is two more stops that I can go now, so I'm gonna go check those out. Better not leave old Bob behind. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to call it for the night because someone is just not happy, so I'm going to call it for the night.